It's always exciting, especially for aviation buffs, when India announces a brand new aircraft. And this, with no surprise whatsoever, is the biggest headline out of Aero India this year. And it happens to be this aircraft. It's still only a model, but it has attracted huge crowds right from the get-go on day one at Aero India. This is the HLFT-42. It's still only a concept, but take a look at the model itself. The HLF2 stands for Hindustan Lead-In Fighter Trainer. It's a supersonic fighter trainer concept that's being proposed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to plug a perceived gap and to save crores in rupees spent on training of Indian Air Force pilots for fighters and high-performance aircraft. Now, the HLFT-42 is still very much only in the concept stage. As you can see, it is proposed to be a single-engine fighter, but it already looks really impressive. It has triggered a lot of conversations, uh, not least because it has Hanuman on the tail as well. Uh, uh, that has triggered its own conversation. But the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer, as a concept right now, is being pitched as something that the Indian Air Force's fighter pilots can fly instead of you know, the Indian Air Force incurring huge amounts of money in training pilots on actual fighters. Remember, fighter aircraft are expensive to fly, they're expensive to maintain. Therefore, why should fighter pilots have to train on those fighters themselves when they can train on a supersonic trainer of this kind? Now, it may seem very simple, but there are many layers to this conversation. And obviously, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is going to be facing a lot of questions. Number one, does HAL have the bandwidth and the resources to take on a brand new project of this kind when it already has its hands full with things like the LCA Tejas, with the advanced medium combat aircraft and many other aircraft programs. Does HAL have the commitment and the wherewithal to actually see something like this to its completion very soon? Because this aircraft actually looks like something that has been designed from scratch. The truth of the matter, however, is that this is an aircraft that draws from the LCA Tejas. It has derivative features from the HF-24 Marut, which was a fighter aircraft built by HAL in the 60s and 70s, but takes on a very modern hue in terms of what it proposes to do for Indian Air Force pilots. Looking at it, it doesn't look like a trainer, does it? Just take a look at this wing. It's got air-to-air -air missiles arming it to the teeth. All of these are Astra, uh, you know, air-to-air uh, missiles that are developed and built here in India. This here is an ASRAM, which is uh, a, a European air-to-air -air missile, which is available on some of our jets. But this doesn't look like a trainer. And that's actually one of the interesting things about the HLFT-42, which is that the Indian Air Force might use this aircraft for training. But in a time of war, HAL believes such aircraft can be armed, weaponized and pushed into the fight. And that's why the model you see here actually has weapons on them as well. So the HLFT-42 currently is in the realm of concept. It's not a reality at this time. Will the Air Force buy into the idea? Will the Air Force give HAL the solidarity, the funding and the support it needs to convert what is really a scale model right now into a full-scale uh, artifice? That's going to take a little bit of magic. But the fact remains that there is a problem as far as training is concerned. And the Indian Air Force will have to see eye to eye with HAL to make it possibly a reality and not until all of those questions at the Indian Air Force are answered and quickly. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.